Hello everyone and welcome back to Coronas Plays Apollo Justice. Today, uh, I think we examined everything in the room last time. I did, oh, not this. I did kind of speed through it a little bit. Some of it was pretty much the same. An old sepia tone photograph, and then I love a man in a silk hat. So if it looks a lot like Trucy's, come to think of it. Aren't those clothes the best? I had my made the match. Well, yeah, apparently. Got a different, uh, emblem? Em I don't know, what what are the brooch? Brooch, I guess? If you're gonna be a magician, you gotta look the part. Truth is big on appearances, I found. <laughs> fair, fair enough. All right, so that's it here. Where are we going? Oh, we got, oh, we got the plenty of places to go. Let's go to the detention center first. I'm not expecting anyone to be here, except for uh, guard, my dude. Man, it looks like Waki's out for questioning. I really need to talk to him. I guess we'll come back later. Excuse me. Yes? <laughs> the other suspect is all through with questioning, sir. The other? Oh, you mean the panty snatcher. Oh, Wesley Stickler. So they arrested him, too. All right. Let's have a little chat with Miss Stickler. We don't have to. I hope I don't regret this. He's a valuable witness. Is he, though? He is a bit precious. I'll give him that. Please, keep this brief if you would. I'm quite busy. Maybe you have that book in there? I need to finish this paper. Nyak! It's you! Uh, Mr. Stickler, we'd like to have a few words with you. Very well. As long as there are a few. Nothing would make me happier, believe me. Uh, do 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 Assuming this is reset. Security guard, he stands there watching this room. I have no idea if he's listening to us talk. Uh, I'm not even sure he's breathing. Or if he's even real. He's probably not, because he's been there for many, many years. Oh, right! I did want to mention that yours truly uh, had jury duty today, or jury selection duty today. Boy, was that a fun few hours of not being selected. Apparently, they don't take too kindly to standing up and yelling objection when you enter the courtroom. But no, uh, that was... <laughs> that was fun. It's only my second time ever going to that. Uh, first time, I wasn't called upon at all. This time, uh, I was just not chosen. Like, I, I got called up there, and I answered a few questions. Like, alright, excuse, you know, that jury. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. That it? He's like, yeah, you can go home. Sweet. Kind of sucks that I had to wake up so early to get here, but sure. Panty snatcher. Mrs. Stickler, on the night of the murder, you stole... Wait, I can't help but feel I'm being misunderstood. How exactly? Yes, that night, I obtained a pair of panties. It's true. Really, they're bloomers. Like, we should just call them bloomers, because those, those aren't panties. They're called panties, Cronus. They're bloomers. However, it was my burning curiosity that drove me to do it. Nothing more. Just like my curiosity of stabbing a man. This is completely fine. You want to know the trick of my panties? <laughs> Fuck no. No. You, you're here too? <laughs> Why wouldn't a 15-year-old student be here? What are you talking about? Oh, great Trucy, teach me. Yee! I must know the secret of your panties. My very existence hangs in the balance. Please, make me your apprentice. Apollo, help! I don't know, I think you'd make a great, lovely assistant. Don't say that, Apollo. You can wear the bunny girl suit. Do they still do that? Have they ever done that, Kronos? Yes? Like, they pull a rabbit out of a hat, and then, like, they go, oh, now watch me pull this rabbit out, and it's a girl dressed up like kind of like a Playboy bunny, but it's not Playboy bunny because of copyright. It's just different. Half... Like, sexy lady, <laughs> pretty much. Ah, they probably still do that. What's your, what you witness? Could you relate what you saw that night of the murder to us one more time? Why not? Though it hardly differs from the testimony I gave in court. The defendant was there in the park that night. Of this, I'm quite certain. He was pointing a pistol, or something like that, at the victim. That's when I shouted, STOP! In the name of love and panties! Let's resolve this like gentlemen. And the next moment, a shot was fired. And 
And that is- this is all? Really? My panties are gone. My innermost heart is revealed. What further reason could I have to lie? I can't think of anything and he'd want to hide more than the panty snatching, true. It sounds like Waki was at the scene of the crime after all. I wish it weren't so. Alright, hey, uh, panties? The, that's, that's it! The mystery! The unanswerable riddle! Actually, they're just a normal pair of panties. What? How is that possible? It's just that, it just takes practice, that all. Then you must teach me. You must! There's probably a YouTube video on it. Do you think if I could produce a pencil, an eraser, a textbook, or a lunch? All over my pair of panties, my life would be complete! He's serious, isn't he? Uh... Pa pa panties? Fine, ignore my evidence, see if I care. I wonder what he thinks, uh, no, it's like that, it's, let's not go there. GUN! <laughs> He's actually just pointing the gun at him. Really? You don't have any comment about the other panties? Or me pointing a gun at you? Well, that's just rude, really. You don't even have a comment on your phone. Okay, that's a little weird, but sure. Uh, and batch? Okay, well fine, be that way. Uh, I guess that's it for you. Yeah, nothing, nothing else? Nothing else. I have to ask though. Would panty snatching be an arrestable, like, offense? Like, I know you would get in trouble for it. You'd definitely probably pay a fine. Hmm. Is it, uh, you know what? Let's just Google it. Uh, arrested... Or how about just jail time for panty snatching? Jail time for panty snatching. Let's see. I figured it would fall under, like, maybe a sexual harassment crime. Oh, here we go. Okay. It's considered a gateway crime. The act of potential sexual predator. Okay. Penalties can be harsh. In one case in Portland, a convicted panty thief was given 11 years in jail. He stole more than 3,000 pairs of women's undergarments from a laundry room near college. Where do you keep 3,000 pairs of panties? I know they can be small, but that's a lot of underwear. Wow, 3,000 pairs of panties? That's actually, you know what? Uh, how much for grand theft? $2,500. Average costs for panties. Uh, let's see. Bones are kind of acting up today. Don't know why. Kind of super annoying. Am I still connected to the fucking courthouse's Wi-Fi? What is the average price for used panties? Used panties? No! <laughs> God damn it! Uh... Shopping? Let's just get just to find a pair of panties. Uh... The cheapest one that pops up right now is $9.99, so $10. We'll say $10. 3000 3,000 pairs of $10 panties? That's 30,000 fucking dollars! And I'm sure they weren't fucking all $10 panties, right? So, okay. Yeah, that's more than Grand Theft, I guess, at that point. Good lord. What do you- where do you put 3,000 pairs of panties? I know, I was gonna say, what do you do with 3,000 pair of panties? We don't want to fucking know that. But, good god, the case. If anything that Penny th Snatchy said was true, it doesn't put Walkie in a very good position, does it? He was at the scene of the crime. 
And that's pretty clear. There's gonna be a different angle on this. Well, let's get investigating. No time like the present. I don't know why my brain actually thought for a second she was gonna say no time like the panties, and I, uh, I was not happy. So, any leads? Huh, one moment. Shazam! Lightning strikes her. Alakazam was the best Gen 1 Pokemon. Oh, evidence keeps flying out of nowhere. Ta-da! That's all. Neat, huh? Yeah, real neat. Thanks for nothing, Trucy, again. Panties? How many panties did me then? They were a big hidden court. They were the star player of the day, that's true. What should I show them in, what should I show in court next? <laughs> or tomorrow? If only I could count on panties to save the day every day. Well, you're not stealing enough if that's the case. Okay, so nothing here. I kind of feel bad for her, her panties because it's just not really like... What the hell is her actual goddamn name? <laughs> I can't think of her name! Plum Kataki, right. Yeah, poor Plum's panties don't get any goddamn credibility here. Okay, so nothing for the gun. for the autopsy. Uh, carts? Really? Nothing? I know, that is surprising, Venus. So the only... <laughs> the only connector here for the presenting stuff has been the panties. Which is kind of shocking. Because we have a lot of evidence, and none of them are being actually talked about. Which is absolutely bullshit. And not very helpful. Alright, well, I'm assuming it's the same stuff for the badge. No, nothing for the badge, wow. Alright, let's, uh, move then. Move out the way? No, move to the clinic? There is, uh, apparently, no one here. Uh, bought it all Mr. Wright's favorite brand of grape juice? Me? I haven't been able to touch stuff since the first case. Not a problem for Mr. Wright, apparently. Nah, he's, he's got issues. Swings from a stack of DVDs. Apparently, like, Best Buy doesn't sell physical media anymore, which... I don't know if that's true. I saw it trending, and I was like, wow, that's... Kind of means I'm not really buying shit from Best Buy anymore, which is kind of a shame. Um, Cause that was literally the only thing I ever bought from Best Buy was physical media, video games, old, like not old movies, but movies when I did buy them. To be fair, I don't really watch movies all that often anymore, but still, um, I do think I might go to the theater to see Deadpool 3 when it comes out. That teaser, mm, that looked good. I haven't been to the movies since, uh... When did I go to the movies? Oh, oh shit. Was it the last Star Wars movie? I think so. I definitely went for Last Jedi. It must have been the last Star Wars movie. Rise of Skywalker, right? How I don't even remember. That's sad. I actually didn't mind the the newer Star Wars movies. They had some problems. Yeah, the Rise of Skywalker. But at the same time, honestly, I, they were enjoyable to me, so I didn't really care what other people were complaining about. Hey, Plum. <laughs> Yipes, she's back. Hey, you two. Over here. Uh, us? You little plum, what's up? What's up? I think all the gangster gangsteries is a negative influence on Trucy. I heard you retrieved my bloomers. Well, I was just doing. Bah! A man speaks clearly and takes credit for where it's due. And you're a man, right? You caught the thief, didn't you? Uh, yes. Sorry, I, 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 I caught him. You can't when you're nervous, Polly. I'll deal with you later. But enough about my bloomers. What about my son, Walkie? Uh, Walkie? Oh, uh, well, he's clearly. Yes, yes, ma'am. This is why I was kind of hoping we could avoid coming back here. 
All right, well, uh, slide. It's not called slide in this Kronos. Slide! Your panties. How about your panties? Hey, my bloomers. Thanks for that. I owe you one. I thought you might like them back, so. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Why don't you keep them as a souvenir? Oh, no, I couldn't. Thanks for the offer, but I could use them in my, in my magic panties act. I'll pull, sh I'll pull shivs and pieces <laughs> and godfathers out of them. Great, now your props are going from bland to dangerous. Stick them up. So this pistol belongs to the Kataki family, is that correct? It's one of the pieces we keep around. That is, we used to keep around. They're all gone now. Oh, police came yesterday and took everything. Everything but my broom. Don't you think you should have given them that too? You kidding? Can't clean up very well without a broom. I also can't stab that well without a broom. Sorry, kid, but I don't care about my kid's health, apparently. Can you tell me if this knife belongs to Walkie? Oh, that's his knife, all right. Bought it for him for his birthday. Oh, wow, that's a pretty hardcore present. I've got knives for my birthday. I've got knives for my non-birthdays, too. I've definitely told this story before. So I uh, I got a knife way back in the day when I was camping, Bowie knife, uh, and I went to visit some family over in England. This was a long, long time ago. This was before 9-11, all right? So don't freak out. Um, at some point we had lost the Bowie knife. <laughs> ah, that's very reassuring, Chris. Yeah, okay, so anyways, we lost the Bowie knife somewhere. and couldn't find it. I was very unhappy about it because I like that knife. And, uh, we go to England, we come back, and in the London airport, as we're going through checkout to come back to America, uh, one of the security guards stops us, and in, like, the back compartment of my backpack that I use for camping and luggage and stuff like that, uh, he pulls out this rusted Bowie knife that I had lost all that time ago, and <laughs> just looks at us like, what the fuck? Like, you're, are you dumb? Like, you know, it's like, hey, oh, was, we didn't know that was there. Likely story, right? We didn't know it was there. We went through Logan fucking airport in Boston to get to England with that knife in our possession onto the plane. It was a carry-on bag on the plane made it to England, made it through their checkout at England when we were getting into England with it, and then on the way back, they fucking found it. So we went through a couple of different checkpoints there, and on the last one, they finally found it. To be fair, we didn't know it was there, but still. I remember him falling asleep with it, clutched in his arms. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Even if you like knives, don't do that. Oh, I know the feeling. I bet he was ha just ha so as happy as I was with my plastic spaghetti. Oh. Own? I mean, we can show you the fingerprints, though. I don't think that's going to matter. We already showed you these, right? Yeah. Uh, this is the mirror we found from the hit and run, yeah? Huh? <laughs> it's funny how it all ties together like this. You chase after a hit and run and end up walking the turning. Of course, you'll find the real killer soon, won't you? Hmm, maybe, maybe, or fucking no. Maybe he is the real killer and I'm gonna lose. It doesn't happen that often, but still. He's really everything you'd expect in a boss's son. I'm gonna be a gangster, dude. But life does have an appeal for that age. Particularly for boys. Dots? What? Don't look at me like that. How old am I? We said we were the same age of someone, right? Emma, right? We're close in age, so we're... I think I said I was 21 before, but that wasn't it, right? I think someone corrected me. I think we're, so we're what? We're like 25 or 24, right? She's older than us, I think he said, or maybe, maybe we're 26, I don't know. Uh, he was shot in a turf war about a half a year ago. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, your son. 
Yeah, we heard the story from Wahi. But he didn't tell you the whole story. You know, even if he had a pistol then, he couldn't have shot anyone. What? He acts like he's hardcore, but he couldn't shoot someone to save his life. Which, you know... That's not great. Because, like, I, I don't know. I'm all... I get it. People don't like guns, don't want violence. I totally understand that. Trust me. That'd be great if there was no fucking violence in the world. And shit like guns and knives were just decorative. But if someone's trying to kill you... Like, you gotta stop them. Like, you gotta try anyways. You can't just let it happen. What that means to you... Or the YouTube TOS... Uh... It can be whatever, like restraining, hitting over the head, whatever, right? You don't have to shoot someone, but if it's to save you or your own life, please do something. Run, hide. If you can't, try to stop them from killing you, right? Yeah, I don't know. It just, yeah. I should know. I'm his mom, and I've killed many people. The words do have a certain weight to them. Hopefully, when this is all taken care of, he and the boss can sort out their differences. The boss? You mean Waki's father? They didn't seem to be on the same best terms, did they? The case. It's tr it's true. One of our pistols is missing. So the murder weapon was from this mansion? We kind of figured, given the difficulty of obtaining a gun these days in, in this fantasy world. Uh, none of the rank and file have access. Only the boss, myself, and, uh, Walkie could have taken it. I see. I'm sure the cops will continue tromping all over the mansion because of this case. Maybe this is a sign uh, that it's time for a change. <laughs> doesn't seem too concerned, at least. Uh, Lita Tila. Yeah, Walkie's fi uh, fiancé. They're getting married next month, correct? Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to do an impersonation of you. They're getting married next month, correct? I suppose. She's been staying over lately. You don't look too happy about that, little plum. I mean, she's mooching. Uh, also, how'd you guess? Even I could tell that. Could you, could you tell us a little bit more about her? Woggy brought her home one day. Says he wants to tie the knot. Oh, is she pregnant? I can see why, she's still pretty. Oh, she's pretty enough. But, you know... Nah, it's probably just me being suspicious. Stay in this business too long, and you start to only you start to only see the darkness in people. You get a nose for it. Like two can't say him. A nose for people. A nose for trouble. A nose for panties. Huh, I wonder what the problem is. Is she a gold digger? It's true, a gay's the only version of a uh, female. <laughs> it's like a gay. It's, it's, I don't know why I said it's true. I guess I saw Trucy up there, and my brain just threw it in there. It's like a gay's the only version of female intuition. It could just be female intuition. The boss may act tough, but that boy means the world to him. But Walkie seems, well. He seems like he's against his father's position. Ah, uh, it's to be expected. We're in a bit of transition now. Trying to cut our ties with the shadier side of the street and do more on the up and up. Walkie isn't too enthusiastic about the change. It's true. But well, why the change? <laughs> it's the, is the gangster thing just not paying the bills? <laughs> it pays, but we need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. I see. Hmm, something must be up. We'll see things the way the boss sees them someday. Well, he'll see things the way the boss sees them, right? Yeah. All right. So we did all of that. I guess we can examine some stuff. Several covers of paint have splashed across the gate. Most of it's pretty much dry, too. And this is going to be one heck of a cleanup. Especially since it's been sitting there for over a day. This is a gate befitting the Kataki Mansion. Look at the nameplate. Kataki! That's so cool. Short and blunt. Like any good gangster. Let's change our name, too. How about... WAA? Uh, maybe that's too short, I don't know. No comment. I mean, I guess we could be like, Welcome to WAH! Colorful dragon turns its baleful gaze in my direction. Pen and all hope. <laughs> Being hope, I've been on speaking terms lately. That one's, I think, the same. Okay, slide. Uh, examine... That old woman's still going at it a day later. 
Looks like that old lo lo lady's at it again. Look, I told you yesterday the park's off limit. And I told you yesterday this is how I go home. Okay, you want me to go around? How about give me five bucks, like yesterday? Uh, the car artist strikes again. Our crime scene is off limits to the public. Police officer on guard and the gate is yawning. Now he noticed me staring and snapped his mouth shut. I think he broke some teeth. Too late, Mr. Officer, I saw you. Apparently, this park was the gift of the Katagi family. Uh, the family, uh, the friendly people park brought to you by organized crime. Okay, this seems very the same. We kill on the left side of the side. <laughs> it's crazy, and this is where we found the mirror. Now that I think of it, wasn't there something else in here too? Something near the bottom. Look at the paint on this. Uh, that means these must have ended up here after Mr. Wright's accident. Maybe they're connected? Let's pick him up! I mean, we should have done that yesterday. They've been sitting here all day gathering fucking trash on them. But apparently I only had enough pockets for one. Why wouldn't I dig through the trash? I'm gonna go through the trash can. You're very accepting, Trucy. Alright, that's it. Uh, do -do 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 we already examined these, but we'll do it again. So, yeah. Yeah, we already did that. And we got the toe prints. I don't know. Oh, new. I wonder, could this be a print? Why would there be a finger? Oh, you mean a toe print? Good call, Paulo. I bet we can analyze it if we use regular, uh, like, just like a regular print. This could be a vital piece of evidence. Oh, okay, shit. Dust it. We're dusting for all the prints. I mean, at the same time, though, they would have to do toe prints, right, for this to be in a record? Like, fingerprints are one thing, right? You can get your fingers print taken for many different reasons. Toe prints? I think you need to charge for that on OnlyFans. Hey, it worked. It looks like a big toe, maybe. <laughs> wow, I feel like the case is solved already. Uh, what was next? We have to match the print, right? Right, let's match it. Wait. The detective didn't give us a list of toe prints, Paulo. Oh, good point. Maybe we should ask her? Get some expert experience <laughs> advice? Guess so. I'm not sure really if she really qualifies. Oh, she's an expert. She's kind of weird, but everyone in this fucking game is kind of weird. And by kind of, I mean very weird. Okay, she's gone. Maybe she's... No, we went to the hospital already. I was gonna say maybe she's visiting right, but he wasn't there. Yeah, poor Mr. Eldoon. I think I should make it a playhouse for children. I mean... Uh, that's probably actually not a bad idea. He would probably want to, like, change... Oh, well, maybe he doesn't want to change it, right? But you don't know if there's blood splatter anywhere on this. Rumors are going to go around about it. Probably bad for business. Probably just get a new one. And if you can't afford it, go fund me, right? Uh, that's viable, probably, in this game. Not when the game was released, mind you, because I don't think that existed then. But still. And what was the uh, Stigler said at the trial today? Walkie was very likely pointing this at the victim. Like he wanted to kill him. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, trash can sits next to the path there. I guess we know, uh, I guess now we know it was Mr. Stigler who hid Little Bloom's, uh, Plum's, Little Blooms, uh, Little Plums Bloomers here, huh? Uh, that's right, Trucy. And that, and what a web of lies grew from that one little act. You still remember that moment. You branched those bloomers on high and shouted, OBJECTION! Here's what I want you to do, Trucy. Take that memory, gently lock it away deep in your heart, and never speak of it. I mean, to be fair, it's a good memory. Mitch is lying the river running through the park. 
Huh, a little urban oasis. I bet children come here and splash in the... Okay, we already seen this. Yeah, a little dirty. Listen to the water and pretend they were playing. That's kind of dark and sad. All right, so we went here, been here. How about a loon? Hey, it's Mr. Aldoon! Mr. Aldoon! Hmm. What's wrong? So you found my stand. I forget how I voiced you. That's why I'm here, to thank you. Huh. But now it's a crime scene and uh, they won't let me have it back. That's also why I'm here. I got no other place to go. I see. How can a noodle stand be a crime scene? That's what I don't get, Trucy Dog. Even death, he's after my neck, I tell you. Bah! What? Even... Can't even cook an honest noodle. <laughs> he? Even in death, you mean the victim? I tell you, that's enough to drive a man to make his soup even saltier. I'm gonna never eat his noodles when we're when he's in a bad mood. Uh... And he's... Okay. Okay, crack a lacking on the case. I will show you your stand. That's right, Sonny. When you bring my stand home. I'm ready. Can't you see I'm ready? I guess. Until that stand is back home, this case is not closed. You hear me? I think I'll avoid talking about his stand in the future. So you are giving me a bunch of hints that you're not going to want to talk about any of my stuff. Unless it's your stand. Which I gotta admit, kind of bullshit. My dude. Also, yes, I just let out a huge yawn. I uh, had to wake up significantly ear earlier than I normally do today to get to that jury duty stuff. That's one of my bowls. See the Mr. Salty Mark? Yeah, okay, we already talked about that. They come to the stand, they say. Uh, they sit, they drink deep from the bowl. And when they see the bottom, their face looks just like Mr. Salty's genius, no? Very high concept. You can't play ply a trade if you don't love the tools. Remember that. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. So I guess we can just talk to you. The noodle stand. That stand, for a generation it's served up the very best noodles us Eldoons could make. A tradition of noodles and salted broth. It's more than a stand, it's a history, I tell you. Watch what you say or it might come true. That's a great story, Mr. Eldoon. A single stand passed down from generation to generation. Of course, to be honest, I didn't plan on doing it. That's right, you said you something about, uh, something about that, about rebelling against your pups, was it? Good memory, Trucy Doll. Ah, I was a go-getter back in my day. Not anymore. <laughs> Age has beat that out of me. Until my friend next door butted in. In the end, I was left with nothing but the dusty old stand to earn my fortune. And eat my hair. Which I don't think is actually hair. I think you're bald and you have noodles on your head. Mr. Old Dune, I don't mean to pry. But what exactly did you do before you became a chef? Bah, let old Lunas lie. That's what I say. Don't get an idea of what he did, anyways. He stole my dream and left me with nothing but noodles. Were you a doctor? No, I don't even have that. Clinic? This old dude, if I might ask, what exactly happened between you and the clinic? Uh, uh, I couldn't help but sense an enmity here. Enmity? I hate him. I uh, hate it. Uh, him acting like he smells like little roses when he's rolled in mud. Excuse me? He's the only doctor at the clinic, you know. Pretty impressive, huh? I'll tell you the secret to his success. The mob. You mean the Kentucky family? They're always having one of them turf wars and whatnot. Always an injury or two that needs fixing. So, uh, merit, uh, malpractice. Maractus? 
saw a chance uh, for some business. So he started giving the Kataki family a good deal. Deal? Every fifth operation for free. <laughs> I don't know if I want to sign up for that reward program. I can't speak. Program, there we go. He stole the idea from my pups. One free bowl of, of noodles a week, he used to say. Can a doctor just decide to do that? What about the insurance companies? Oh, no doubt it's illegal. But it's got him in good with the family. Pretty soon he's getting all the business in town. Leaving me here in the dark. Up to my neck in some... What? Up to my neck in soupy noodles. I think I figured out Mr. Aldoon's former occupation. Can't hurt that, Apollo. Uh, were you a doctor? Mr. Aldoon? Or should I say Dr. Aldoon? Figured it out, did you? That's right, I was a doctor, a surgeon, until a year before last. So, uh, Mr. Ractus was your rival? You like those onions they put in the soup broth? Uh, yeah, kind of. You take a spoon, you drink some broth. Those young onions will find the way in there. Some, for people like them, who like them, well, uh, that's just fine. For people who hate them. I hate onions. I hate them. Oh, sneaking in from the side, getting in the way of a good, tasting spoonful. Well, that's what he was. He was an onion. An onion knight. That's the default class in Final Fantasy III. But also onion boy, that's what I call him. So you weren't exactly friends. <laughs> Me and old pal Mractus. Ever since preschool, we were getting each other's faces. No matter what I did, sure enough, he'd come falling along. And then he'd do it better than me. Just blow right past without so much as a howdy. Kept saying on your left, though. I think he saw that in the movie. I see. That's right. I was a surgeon before he was, you know. Then that no good onion ball came, came, comes along. Well, Trisha, looks like we found ourselves a new suspect. Don't say that. Thanks to him, I was forced in to trade my scalpel for a ladle. Yo, hey, you can do some damage with a ladle, all right? I've seen people beat Dark Souls 2 with a ladle before. I haven't done it myself. Sounds horrible. Sorry, pal. Didn't mean to weigh you down with an old man's rambling. No, it's fine. I'm used to it. By way of apology, you ever get yourself in a spot of trouble, you drop by. Huh? You're investigating the Americus, right? Aren't you? Practice? Practice, Mractus. Whatever, yes. Well, you want to know about the doctor, you ask the doctor. That's all I'm saying. Just think of me if you need something, Trucy Doll. Right! Thank you, Miss Aldoon! Hmm. Guess uh, the time spent listening to him complain wasn't exactly wasted. Slide! Alright. Well, we get to check out the clinic, that's for sure. Yeah, but what about the guard? No harm in asking. Um, excuse me. Hey, it's you two from yesterday. That's the same officer that was standing out by the park yesterday. Your business is over in the park, isn't it? The clinic's off limits. It's not involved. But what part of off limits do you not understand? Show me proof the clinic is connected in the incident in the park, or beat it. No harm in asking. No gain either. No point in sticking around here, I guess. But I can. But I can, but I can, but I can. Let me in. The uh, front entrance of the, uh, the clinic, the walls and posts are highly polished. Wait, my hand was a little flat. There, perfect, like a hedgehog. Or a porcupine. Shots for the price of one. Somehow I don't see people lining up for that. Ah, uh, depends on the shot. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. Vaccines, really? I don't think I've ever had to pay for a vaccine. Is that true? Um, no, I got... All the ones I get at my doctor's office, are, I think, are covered. During COVID, the one I got at CVS was free, so I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's some maybe that you get, you have to pay for. I don't really know. It could also just be the insurance I have. Uh, 
Okay, these seem relatively the same. All right. <laughs> no! That poster, is that new? Oh, it's not important, whatever it is. I feel like I didn't see that before. All right, so, yeah, I don't think we have anything else here. Right, okay, that's fine. Um, we need to go back to, I mean, we can go into the garage. Examine some of this stuff. I'm assuming it's mostly gonna be the same. Oh, yeah, it's called a stepladder. <laughs> Once again, I was gonna be uh, making a help stepladder, I'm stuck joke. At least I was going to. I don't even know if I said it out loud last time, but it was definitely in my fucking head. Eek! Someone's there! Oh, I did the gold paint and human skeleton. Man, I wish I had a gold skeleton in my body. People would be hunting my ass if I had a f actually, like, legitimate gold skeleton in my body. I'd probably cut off my arm and sell it, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how much money I could get. Okay, are we gonna Google that, Curtis? Uh, how would we do that? How would we Google that? Uh, let's see. Gold worth per pound. So, a pound of gold is worth. Ooh, Jesus, that's actually a lot more than I thought it was for some reason. Uh, 24,000, between 24,329 to 29,560. Okay. So, we'll say $25,000. That's not right at all, Chris. We'll just say $25,000. How much does the average leg weigh? <laughs> uh... On arms and uh, on average, an arm weighs about five percent of your body. Legs about seventeen percent. Mm, that means for a hundred and fifty pound average human being, an arm weighs eight pounds, leg weighs twenty six pounds. So I'd probably want to get rid of my leg, and I definitely do not weigh one hundred and fifty pounds. My doctor would actually probably, well, actually no, she'd probably be very worried because be like, holy shit, you lost way too much weight really fast. But then we'd probably, if, it, if I was healthy, we'd be fine. But 26 pounds. And so, yeah, that's like 26 times 25. That's not the proper math, Cronus. It's close enough. Like $650,000. By like, it is $650,000 because I just did it on the calculator. Is that worth losing a leg? Probably not. But it would be worth hunting someone who has a gold skeleton. No, that w I would not hunt a person if they had a gold skeleton. What? No, it's just a joke. That's also it with this episode. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.